when I started London Film School, it was obviously, you know, a, a very structured, kind of rigid, uh, but, as, as, but the great thing about it was that it was practical. You were on the set and on, in the studio um, all the time and, but, and taking yourself very professionally. Um, so in that sense, uh, but in, 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 in the sense of my own uh, creative process and what I was used to, it was a bit of a shock initially. But then gradually I got used to um, just learning the technical stuff and not worrying about the creative side of it. Just focusing on learning as much as possible about the industry, about the the way the different uh, you know profession like the different positions in in a in a filmmaking process and how to communicate and how to work and on a set and all these things. And after I finished all the courses and went to back to Iran to do my graduation film. Uh, it really hit me, um, and I, uh, be because I, w I went back to Iran, I didn't have any access to my classmates, so I ended up working with a professional crew in Iran. And um, when I started working that, during the making of that film, I realized how much I actually had learned at London Film School, and how much it was, uh, um, how uh, I was able to communicate, and I, w I was able to understand, to just, I was just, you know, dropped in the middle of all these like 10 people who have been working on like feature films, short films, who do that as their daily job. And I was just a student dropped in the middle of them. But the moment we started on the first day of production, I was, you know, everything was, it was, it felt like I'm on a London film school set again. You know, it was like the same kind of uh, relationships, the same kind of process of checking everything and going through a shoot. And so it really, uh, um, allowed me to uh, look back and think of my experience at the school. I did think about this whole approach of um, you, a filmmaking course rather than a directing or editing or specialized course as well. And um, I really liked that as well because it allows you to, uh, especially if you want to be a director, uh, it allows you to kind of um, get, your get your hands dirty with everything, but not necessarily like, you know, yeah, not to become an uh, expert in them, but just enough to be able to communicate with your crew and know what's happening. I think the network of people that you um, meet and you keep contact with is, is, a, is really a blessing. Uh, in fact, the, the way I, um, I, I, I am from Iran myself, but the, only, the way I actually went through uh, my, from a graduation film, uh, I didn't know anyone uh, back there. I didn't, I didn't know any professional crew. So what I did was actually contacted a graduate from London Film School, another Iranian, who had already shot a film in Iran. So, and that's how I actually got to, you know, get, got familiar with the crew there and got introduced to them. So that's just kind of one example of using the London Film School network to kind of, wherever, wherever in the world you want to shoot, you can just contact people and, you know, that, and, you know, get introduced to different people and um, I mean, even now with my classmates, if we're, we're like, I'm in touch with a few of them, if there are, you know, we're all, we're talking about productions in our own countries and helping each other out as much as possible. So yeah, I think it is, it is a network that is bigger just than in London.